Okay, for equation number three, we are going to find an equation of a line that goes through the point negative five comma nine, and that's perpendicular to the graph of the line two x minus three y is equal to seven. And before I do anything, I would like to put on some notes for you guys. So what do we need to know about lines, especially to write an equation of a line? Equation of a line. We need two things. First, we must have the slope. We must have the slope. And how do we get the slope? There are a total of three ways that we will see. So um, we have seen. The first one is to use the slope formula, and slope uh, uh, slope is usually denoted by m. Slope is equal to the formula that y two minus y one over x two minus x one. When you have two points, then you can use this formula to find the slope. Okay. If we don't, for example, in this case that we only have one point, right? Then we have to know um, uh, how do we find slope when we have parallel lines or perpendicular lines. For parallel lines, and that's the easier case, parallel lines, they have the same slope. Parallel lines have um, the same slope, same slope, and then. For perpendicular line, and that's exactly the ones that we're dealing with right here, perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. Negative reciprocal slopes. Okay. Okay. So these are, these are the two uh, three things that we need to know. The first one, the slope formula. If we have two points. The second one, if the equation asks you to do parallel lines, they have the same slopes. Same slopes, I guess, I have to put as at the end. Doesn't matter. And then the third one, perpendicular lines, they have negative reciprocal slopes, and that's the one that we are going to deal with because we want to have perpendicular lines. And perpendicular looks like some uh, this. They cross each other exactly for a ninety degree angle. So. First thing is the slope, and then next, the second thing is that we need to use、um, either of the following formula. Use either y is equal to m x plus b, or y minus y one is equal to n times x minus x one. So this is the、um, slope and y-intercept form. This is the point-slope form of the lines. Depends if the question,、um, if there's a specific direction in the question, but usually one of these will、um, will be fine. So in this case, you just say、uh, find an equation. I think either case will be fine, but I will do both. I will do both of them. With this, we are in business. We can get to work. Question number three. So we we are given a、uh, a line first, right? We are given a line. Two x minus three y is equal to seven. So we are given this line. Two x minus three y is equal to seven. And I want to make it,、um, the perpendicular line to this line. The first step is to find the slope of the given line. And we can do that by isolate y first. If we can write this equation in the form of y is equal to m x plus b, then the m will be the slope. The number in front of the x will be the slope. Let's isolate the y right here. We will first subtract two x on both sides. Minus two x, minus two x. This cancels, and I get negative three y equals to negative two x plus seven. To get y by itself, divide negative three on all of them. Divide negative three on all of them. Negative three and negative three cancels, and I get y is equal to Negative two divided by negative three becomes positive. Two thirds have x, and then positive seven divided by negative three is a minus seven over three. This is the、um, given line. This is the given line, and the number in front of the x is the slope of the given line. And here we have.、Uh, I will just write. Yeah, let me just point this out. So this is the the given slope is equal to 
2 over 3. Okay? So now what we're, what we're going to do is we need to um, know the slope of the perpendicular line, the perpendicular lines. Since the, um, the given slope is equal to 2 over 3, to get the perpendicular line, uh, the slope of the perpendicular line, and this is the symbol for perpendicular, we need to have the negative reciprocal of this. This is positive, so first I need a positive. I mean, I mean, this is a positive, so first I need a negative. And we have 2 over 3. What I need to do is to make a change, flip it. Then I will have 3 on the top and 2 on the bottom. Then this is the um, slope of any perpendicular lines to this line. This is the one that we are going to use. Okay? And we also know the point, which was negative 5, 9. And this is from the equation. This is from the equation. Negative 5, 9. We have the slope and we have the point. Okay? Then, uh, let me probably box this. For this point, uh, we can label this as x1 and y1. And what we're going to do first is to use um, the point slope form. Because we have a point and we have the slope, this one works just as fine. So we are going to use y minus y1, that's equal to m times x minus x1. At to write equation of a line, the x and y don't change. We are just going to substitute the, x, uh, the y1, the x1, and the m. Okay? And we get y minus y1 is equal to 9. So y minus 9. And that's equal to m is equal to negative 3 half. Negative 3 half. Parentheses, x doesn't change. Minus x1 is negative 5. So I will have a negative 5. And let me put parentheses around the negative number 5. And we can simplify the negative times the negative, and we can make that positive. So that's what we'll do next. And everything else stays the same. So I get y minus 9 equals to negative 3 half times x plus 5. Okay? So this right here uh, will be a status, will be a good answer. Okay? And nothing should, yeah. If the question doesn't specify, the, if the question does not specify which formula that they want you to use, which equation that they, which formula they want you to use, then this should be a um, should be a correct answer. And I'll just label this. This is the point slope form of the line. Okay. And as I said earlier, we are we'll do both. Right, this is just a point slope form, and let's get down to the slope intercept form, which is the y is equal to mx plus b. Once we have this, we just need to isolate the y, and then that will do the job. And we will first take the negative 3 half, distribute it inside. Okay, so I will get negative 3 over 2x, and then negative 3 half times 5. 5 Let's make 5 looks like a fraction, and we can write 5 as 5 over 1. So we can just um, do 3 times 5, which is 15, and then over 2 times 1, which is 2. So we have 15 over 2, and negative times a positive is a negative. So this is what we have. After we distribute the negative 3 half into the x and to the 5, we still have y minus 9 right here. And then, I just need to plus 9 on both sides. Plus 9. This 9 is cancelled, I get y by itself. It's equal to negative 3 half x. And let me do this fractions uh, calculations on the side. I need to do negative 15 over 2 plus 9. 9 is a whole number, I can write 9 as 9 over 1. I need the common denominator, so I need to multiply the top and bottom by 2 and 2. And I will get, uh, this one stays the same, negative 15 over 2, plus 9 times 2 is 18 over 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 15 plus 18 is 3, 
and the denominator stays the same. So we have 3 over 2. So that's the result of this. And we have a positive 3 over 2. And as we can see that y is by itself, right? This is this is the um, slope intercept intercept form of the line. Again, depends on the question. If there's a specific form that they want you to use, um, just use either of this. But if not, then one of these answers should be correct. Okay.